So what were some of your motivations in joining the military? Um, quite frankly, to this day, I'm still not sure why I did that. And I joined to be in the infantry. I actually asked for that. I still don't know why, but I'd do it again. Anything in your upbringing that made you want to join the Army? Uh, well, uh, basically, uh, my, my dad always uh, kind of wanted me to join, uh, join the military. The, the culture of, of our community was to go if you were asked to serve. Uh, we didn't have any war protesters. Uh, nobody fled to Canada. Um, to get away from it, we did what they asked us to do. Did you join thinking that you would eventually end up in Vietnam? I joined to go to Vietnam okay. with the intent. I asked for that. Now, when did you learn that you were going to Vietnam and what was your initial reaction? Oh, I can't remember when I learned. I, I knew I was going to go. It was just a matter of what date. I felt that it would be a war and uh, I, I didn't know what that meant. And I just know that uh, I was going to go over and I was going to try to do my best and uh, and do the best I knew how, do the best job I could. And so I said, well, what's the chances of me being able to walk in if you just leave the shrapnel in there? He said, 50-50. I said, that's a lot better odds. And said, nobody walks the point their last day in the field in Vietnam. I said, I understand that, sir, but I'm doing it for a reason. And uh, so he said, well, I, I'm thinking about ordering you not to walk in. And I said, Captain, please don't do that. And I just, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that out of professional courtesy and let me do my thing, it's, it's going to work out fine. Generally, combat came to you. You know what I'm saying is, you're, you know, you're walking along somewhere and somebody yells, you know, because uh, you, you're searching and destroying. You're not, you know, it, it's not a big army standing out in front and y'all are marching towards them. They're everywhere. You know, these guys are everywhere. It has often been said that there are no atheists in the foxhole. How accurate a statement do you think? Oh, that's that accurate as heck. Absolutely. Um, Just to get to some larger questions about uh, the first division itself, did you find that there's a, a high level of camaraderie, a, a esprit de corps? Yes, yes, uh, very high, very high. Uh, we were, I, I guess we were somewhat arrogant uh, uh, being at, uh, being with the Big Red One, uh, I knew the longer I was with it, the prouder I was. You try to look out for your, your buddies, the guys you serve with, and there are standard and usual tensions that happen, but I think by and large we tended to look out for each other. What is the most important thing you learned from serving in Vietnam? As I said before, um, if you want to do what you want to do, you got to earn the right to do it. Personal discipline attitude about teamwork, have being together with folks you got to rely on. I'll, I'll be a big red one till I die. Thank Thanks. you for the interview and sure. thank you for your service to the country. You're welcome.